in my mind You'll never be satisfied Blame the divine Eventually they'll find the time And what if I, what if I believe you Or what if I, if I What if I believe you What if I, if I Go on, give it your all Oval underscore TV as we get ready to rock and roll with the National Auto Racing Club, the race or race number two for their uh, for their new season, week number two, race number two, however you want to say it. Lernerville, the only track with no outside walls. We're gonna run some 360 sprint cars around this joint. Qualifying is underway as of right now. Here is the uh, fast lineup. Up there on top of the charts is going to be Corey Austin with that 13.144. A lot of guys, man, the top four all the way down to Trevor ran a 13.1. And then the 13.2s, man, just stack up right, right after them. As qualifying comes to an end here, about one second, there it is. Checker flag is going to wave. Gonna be a long night of racing. Over 20 plus cars have entered in. As drivers get ready to rock and roll with their new with their heat race, very first laps around this place. And there they are, Corey Austin and David Flick. 
those guys are going to be up on the front row third place is going to be brandon garman and michael birthday is back there in the fourth place daniel and jay adams he'll be riding out uh p5 with brent hagan number 95 machine he'll be back in sixth place todd wilson and donnie batiste will be seventh and eighth and mace and jamie mccarran that ninth and tenth place drivers rounding out the field the top four send those guys straight to the mac daddy show so a lot of guys will have some work to do see if anyone likes to jump their car does anyone set sail no everyone just kind of rolls it off it's all right probably the smart the smart thing to do as well get the engine volume just right camera angle set up just right be rocking and rolling definitely the high side is probably where you want to be tonight just cannot hang that right rear tire off of that berm it can uh it will end your night very very fast austin Corey austin running that all blue machine rick sparks auto cell then you have uh, david flake to his outside there in the number 56 machine Watch McCarron, though, back there in the ninth place. I see him moving up. Don't see him be uh, back there in ninth place for very long. Only 10 laps around this place, so uh, laps will go by very quick. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the first laps of the night. Heat race number one. We're off to the races. Should be a shot down in the turn up number one. He goes getting himself set up for turn at number three kind of running that middle side David flick running him running right in his tire tracks. Yeah, Brandon back here in third place Michael holding down that last transfer spot Nobody has made a pass yet. Daniel J. Adams running out p5 Brent Hagen right there in that John Deere machine run like a deer. He's back in the sixth spot T Todd Wallace McCarran and Donnie rounding out the field qualifying making a huge roll here er, early on in heat race number one Corey Austin still a race leader already already halfway over of this heat race as he sets sail down there to the bottom side trying to really man oh so slightly I think he is the gap is up there on the screen right now a 0.3 second gap david flick needs to close and laps are closing down quick outside wall comes by very quick as well brandon and michael they're about to go to war with each other as well michael trying to get to the inside of brandon garman not quite down in turns one and two they set themselves up down here in turns three and four now michael's gonna rip the lip around turns three and four he's gonna look for the crossover and now michael goes down to the inside Swift swapping for that top three place right now, but Brandon is not going to give it up quite yet as Michael continues to rip the lip around turns three and four. One lane all the way to the outside. The white flag is going to wait for Corey Austin. Can he lead lap one all the way to lap 10? The battle on the racetrack is right here for P3. Checker flag is going to wait for the number 92 machine. David Flick coming home second place. Michael third. Brandon fourth. Everyone else will have to go to the lord divisions and try to work their way up to the mac daddy show man this track gets dusty this is probably the most uh dustiest track here on i racing definitely for a track with no outside wall to catch you that's no fun but it makes it fun though Key race one results are up there on your race screen right now. That's how those guys e ended up. Let's get ready for heat race and number two for the National Auto Racing Club. Aiden, the double one machine. 
He'll be on a pole with Robert Box with his outside and Justin Sherman, the 007 machine, driver out of California. He'll be starting in third place. Lane Stevens, he'll be starting for Zach J. Miller, fifth. Eric Summerfield, sixth. Alex Hamilton and Mace, or Mason, he'll, they'll be starting in that seventh and eighth place. And then Devin Thomas with School of Sim Racing. The number 57 machine will be rounding out the field. I think there's only two passes total. That was it. And he raced number one. So qualifying coming in huge early on into the night. We'll see how he race number two works out. These drivers don't get a lot of practice time. I think they had about a solid two, two minutes to slick up the racetrack and that was about it. But they will not reset the track all night long. So we're stacked up and packed up, getting ready as Shimmy and Shime down into turn at number one. Aiden is gonna lead this field down to turn number one. Robert Box did not get the best restart, but he's gonna hold on to that P2 as of right now. Multiple different grooves early on in, into the race nine. You see drivers running that middle side. You see some drivers running that high side. But man, with how dusty this track gets with these 360 sprint cars, it's going to be tough running that uh, running that high side. You better have a lot of confidence. And look at Justin Sherman, the back there in the 007 machine. Justin Sherman finished sixth. I believe he finished sixth place last week. And right now he's in that last transfer spot. All over the back bumper of Lane Stevens. Lap five of 10 is already complete. Nose a tail for second, third, and four. Inches away, coming down the front stretch, a little bit of contact. Contact was made by Lane Stevens and Justin Sherman. Able to keep it straight, able to keep it going. Aiden with a point to seven second lead as of right now, as these drivers are still trying to catch up to it. Back here in fifth place, so Zach J. Miller slowly reeling these drivers in as they were playing playing games with, with each other. Devin Thomas is back here in sixth place. Alex Hamilton seventh. Eric and Mason, they're five laps down. They must have crashed. As everything kind of gets spread out, I'll try to show the crash really quick with Eric Summerfield and, and Mason. I think this was on lap number two. Ran out of room, smashed the outside wall, and then had absolutely nowhere to go. White the flag is going to wave, and look at this. Throw a blanket over to second, third, and fourth place. Top four advances. These drivers are in the race show. How hard do you want to race them? Lane passes Robert Box for P2. Box trying to hold second place, but Justin Sherman is able to get right around him. Push down the loud pedal and hold on to it. Man, how hard do you want to race, man? Once you're in the A main after 20, 20 plus cars, I don't know. Could have a chance of wrecking. And that'd be no fun. Heat race number three. Here we go. National Auto Racing Club, once again, go check out their Facebook page if you guys would like to join this action. Thomas Brand with Team SSRE lead. He'll be on pole with Kenny Hoffman on to, uh, to his outside. Sam J. Price, third row. Patrick Spangler, uh, fourth place. Sorry, Sam, third place. Patrick, fourth. Third row is going to be Todd. Alongside him is going to be Tim Alton from the frozen land up north. Travis Snyder was, uh, will be starting in seventh place. Kurt Nay, eighth. And Daniel Boyd will be ninth place. Track looked like it got a whole lot racier at the end of that heat race number two. So I'm pretty stoked for heat race number three now. P2 
race truck or the lights on the pace truck is off we'll be going in green a flag racing once again nine cars top four advances here we go thomas brandon man that inside lane whoever the starter is just gets a ginormous jump Here's a race for the race lead early on. Thomas Brandon shoots out like a cannon. Kenny Hoffman was able to get right back to his back bumper, though. Sam J. Price holding down third place. Tilma Alton back here in the fourth place. He's already moved up two spots here in heat race number three. And then Patrick Spangler don't want to sleep on this guy. New looking paint scheme for him as, as well. Outside looking in as of right now, and he's liking the dig on the bottom side. Last lap time's up there on the scoring tower now. Thomas with a 13.7. Kenny with a 13.6. Also with the quick time of heat race num number three. Sam J. Price holding down third place, and Tilma Alton still holding down that last transfer spot. That on the racetrack right now is going to be right here for this fifth and sixth place. Daniel Boyd all the way up there to the outside. Thomas Brandon has this thing all wrapped up in the bag. Knock on wood, don't mean the jinx you. Definitely plenty of room there in front of him. No lap cars there in front of him and a kind of pretty good cushion there behind him as well so setting himself up for a really good night of racing Kenny starting in second place and still gonna hold down second place Sam J Price starting in third place is gonna hold down third place but Tim right here this driver moved up four spots and oh my goodness almost had huge contact with Daniel Boyd Boyd has moved up four spots he's just on the out the side looking in white flag is going away one more time he's to the outside of Tim Wide to flag out. Daniel moved up four spots. Just need one more. Tim leaves him a lane all the way up there to the high side. Tim Alton trying to dig hard down the bottom. Trying to slide it on up. Not quite. Daniel Boyd makes it to the eight main. Now Tim is going to be on the outside. Look, looking in now. Just one corner. That was it. That's all you had to hold on to it. Sometimes it's tough, man. Daniel, what an incredible run that, that was. Daniel Ford, Tim fifth, Travis sixth place, Todd seventh, Kurt, and then Patrick Spangler at seventh and eighth and ninth place. We get ready to rock and roll with Heat Race number four now. Drivers already lined up in, in the pits. Here's a grid. Trevor. Driver out of Pennsylvania, the number 90 machine. He'll be on a pole with Jeremiah, the team SSR, the number 20 machine to his out aside. Jareth Pike, third, and Brandon, fourth. The Hunger Buster of Kale likes to drive that Dairy Queen machine. He'll be back in fifth place. Jordan Edder, team SSR. He'll be in sixth place. Colin Murphy, seventh. Trent, eighth place. And Gage Stevens rounding out the field there in the ninth place. A little bit of race info for Lernerville. 0.37 mile racetrack. That's all it is, a 0.37. It races really fast though. Man, we've seen the late runs, man. Late part of these heat races. Things get sketchy. Don't know if setups start to kick in and some setups start to fall off or what. But it happens. Ten laps, top four advances. Heat race number four. Stacked up a field, this one is. Trevor and Jeremiah, front row. Once again, man, the leader just jumps out like a complete rocket. Number 20 machine almost goes off the racetrack, almost hangs out right rear.
Turbo going to lead to lap number three or start of lap number three. Only 34 seconds into the heat race number four. We're already on lap number three, and this driver has a very big lead already. Almost a second lead as he gets up there in the slick. Check that out. The 20 machine playing with fire up there. Absolutely puts that right rear tire as far as he possibly can all the way to the outside. Check this out. Look how close this driver gets. Even goes off the screen for a slight bit. He does have Jared Pike, though. Very strong 360 sprint car driver right there behind right there behind him. As he may have just tapped the outside wall. And here comes Jared Pike now. Pike looks down to the bottom side. Will he be able to capture P2 down here in turns three and four? Does not go as quite low as I thought he would. Gets a little loose off of turn four, and Jeremiah is going to hold down that third spot or that second spot now. Brandon, he's in that last transfer spot and has about a 1.3 second gap behind, uh, behind him all the way back to Jordan. Sorry, only a 0.2 second gap back to Jordan. So this is going to be the race that we need to watch for. Lap eight of ten. He raced number four coming to an end. Brandon, will he try to take away his line? We've seen back-to-back -back heat races now coming off at turn four. You definitely want to be up there on the high side to get that run. Jordan, what is he thinking, though? He just has to keep in the throttle and try to get around him. And it looks like he's going to. Jordan up to the slash transfer spot. Wide, the flag is out one more time. Down the back stretch for the very last time. Jordan Nader was able to capture it. He goes down to the bottom side. Block any sort of slide job that he that Brandon was thinking about throwing. Checkered flag waves. Good run for this number 90 machine, though. Very strong. Heat race number five. I believe this should be our final heat, heat race as well. Landon, driver out of California. Number 12 machine, he'll be on pole with Joe to his outside. Brady King with SSR Elite Sim Racing. He'll be back in third place. Tyler Wilson, fourth place with wide open motors, motorsports. Dylan Evers with four horsemen. The eight, one, a three machine. He'll be starting in fifth place. Bruce, elbows up Sim Sport. He'll be starting in sixth place. Alex, seven, John, eight, and Jeff Stewart. Elbow up at Sim Sport as well. Two teammates, sixth and ninth place in this uh, National Auto Racing Club heat race number five. I don't believe I've seen the last week's winner here of Shea Paulo. Could be wrong. I haven't seen him yet, though. Just tossing that one out there. A lot of SSR sponsors on these 360 Sprint Car School of Sim Racing. Join up on, on their Discord. Go to their Facebook page. Shoot them a message. Jump in and have a good old time with some dirt at track racing. Joe and Brady. A lot better restart for the outside cars at this time. Wilson has moved up to the P2 spot now. And now he's already going to look for the race lead. What will Brady King do down on the bottom side? He gets loose. Brady King gets loose. He may lose. He lost two spots. Will he lose three, though? Tyler Wilson, our new race leader. He has moved up three spots, and he is running away with it. As of right now. Joe back here in P2 now. Does a little wheelie. May have tapped the outside wall. Bruce hanging out there on the outside as well. He has uh, P3. Brady King has fallen and back a little bit. And that 14 machine. He's getting freight train. Almost loses on the outside wall. I have no idea how everyone was able to keep it straight. 
Man, if you get stuck down on that bottom side, it is hard to get back up there to the to the cushion where you need to be. Landing all over that back bumper of the 21 off the 21 machine now. They go down the back stretch. Team or that 12 machine does have it. 14, they're on his trading pains down the back stretch and into turn number three. They roar, ripping the lip, trying to stay on the racetrack. Jeff Stewart, Brady King, they're going to slip swap spots really quick. They drag race down the front stretch. Big thing right here, though. How hard do you want to race them? White flag. He is Landon's going to try and throw the slide job on Bruce to the outside wall to the checkered flag. And Landon's going to capture that third spot on a last lap, last corner pass. But Tyler Wilson, big time. He raced number five winner. Gonna make his night a whole lot easier. Here it is, man. The sun is not fully down yet. And I always say, man, well, once that once that sun goes down and the speed lights are fully on, it changes the entire vibe, the entire energy of these uh, league races. Definitely when uh, the National Auto Racing Club has their league races, over 30 drivers here tonight. Not a lot of drivers. I think only 20, maybe 24 make the A main. We'll verify. But we're going to start the D main now. All the way back here in the D main. Top four advances out of it. We're going to run eight laps instead of ten. Like their heat races. No caution flags. It's a nail burner. It's a hard. It's hardcore too, man. Definitely don't want to wreck. Because nothing's going to save you. Here's a grid for the D main event. Four drivers are going to go home. Four drivers. And then the other four drivers will go to the C main. Colin Murphy, John, Donnie, Mason, Patrick, Gage, Dylan, and Mace. They're in it. We'll see how they do it. We'll see if their teammates gave them a little, some, some tips on, on their setups or not. Help them out a little bit. Here we go. D main off to a weird start. Colin Murphy just just goes. John on the guy on the outside did not go whatsoever. Colin Murphy working that bottom side of the racetrack. We'll see if anyone moves to the outside. Patrick Spangler will try to work that outside lane. Outside definitely going to be the way to go as of right now. That is definitely a fast way around. As you just seen, Patrick Spangler just completely blow, blow past Colin Murphy. Third place is going to be Dylan Evers. John holding down this last transfer spot. But you got Mason up here ripping the lift there in the number 16 machine. So John working the bottom side of the racetrack. Mason working this high side of the racetrack. Definitely the fast lane as of right now. He's the only driver way up there. Mason tries to get around. John coming across the line. Down in the turn at number one. D main top four advances working lap five of eight. And Mason just got into the uh, got into the C main as of right now. If he can hold this spot. John has still yet to move up to the high and scary side. Here comes the number 17 machine of Donnie Batiste. He's going to work this outside now. Laps are winding down very quick, though. One minute, 28 seconds in to this D main. Mason may try to cap capture P3. 
Colin Murphy working this bottom side of the racetrack too. He, he wants no part of that out, outside cushion. Why the flag is going to wave. Donnie Batiste on the outside looking in. He's working that high side right along the cushion trying to get around Dylan Evers. Will Dylan try to take his line away? No, he won't. We've seen this back-to-back -back heat, heat races. Donnie trying to power off the turn four to the line. I think Donnie may have got it. Checker flag waves for Patrick. And the outside lane does. Donnie makes it in. Man. By like half a tire. Man, I was really surprised he never moved up to the to, to the high side. Try to take his line away or something. I don't know. I don't know how to rate race these things very good. So I'm not the guy to say that. D main re results right there. Donnie and Dylan, fourth and fifth. John, six. May, seventh. And Gage Stevens going to be back there in the eighth place. Patrick Spangler, Colin Murphy, and Mason. Driver's gone in the top three. Let's keep an eye on those drivers. See if they can do the alphabet soup. D main all the way to the Mac Daddy. See a main event, the exact same thing. We're just going to tack on two more laps. We're going to race 10 laps. Top four does advance. Alex Hamilton, the 24 machine. He'll be on a pole with Todd to his outside. Trent, third place. Alex, fourth. Todd uh, Wallace will be fifth place. Eric Summerfield with Garmin and Silm Racing. He'll be in sixth place. Kurt Nay, and then our D main advancers is uh, Patrick Spangler, Colin Murphy, Mason Inman, and Donnie Batiste. is leading this field he's already down in turns number three trying to power off turn number four right now alex hamilton second place trent verstappen verstappen he'll be back there in third fourth place gonna be alex but here comes patrick spangler working down to the bottom side trying to get to the inner side of the 27 machine to make it to the b main He is three wide, stuck right in the middle. One driver almost way off the racetrack. Patrick up to third now, Trent to four. Kurt Nay almost lost it. Actually, it was a 27 of Alex. He's back in fifth place now. Race leader still Todd, but things are heating up back here in the middle part of the racetrack. Todd is completely gone, working hard down on the bottom side. Alex, Patrick, and Trent both all three down to the inside. Patrick trying to root him out of the way. Trying to put all that power down. They're going to drag race down the front stretch. Patrick to the inside. That's going to be Alex to the outside. Trent going to try to follow hot pursuit. White, the flag is going to wave. Trent has a slash transfer spot. That all white machine, the double eight machine. But here comes Donnie Batiste from the D-Main. Can he try to make it into the C-Main? 
Trying to step hard on the loud pedal to the line. And Donnie and Mason will be out of the race. Alex, he, he goes up. Or he continues on. Trent continues on. Patrick as well. Just ran out of lap times or ran out of laps. That's all it was. Todd, Patrick, Trent, Alex. Those are the top four drivers. Getting ready for the B main show now. Daniel J. Adams, a 36 machine. He'll be on pole with Zach J. Miller to his outside. The can the guy from the frozen land up north is Tim Al Alton. And Brandon will be starting there in the fourth place. Jeff, fifth, and Brent, sixth place. Devin, then Travis. School of Sim Racing and Griffith si uh, Snyder Racing, eighth. Hunger Buster of Cal with Team SSR, the number 58 machine. He'll be back in ninth place. Brady King, tenth place. Jamie McCarron and Todd back there in the 11th and 12th spot. exact same formats we're just going to tack on a couple of laps we're going to make it uh 12 laps now top four advances 15 cars in this race B main one more and that's all you gotta do get a top four and get get going on to the a main sometimes the b main event is probably the best show of the nights a lot of times it is 15 cars on the b main 12 laps top four we'll see if they made any sort of setup change to their machines from the from the heat race that inside lane man they just get a come a huge jump back here back in the back here in the middle part of the racetrack right now himself three wide as of right now needs one more main to make it up to the uh, Mac Daddy show right now he's sitting in ninth place our race leaders working turns one and two we find ourselves three wide for for the third spot Jeff Stewart's gonna take it as of right now and Brandon is still holding down the fourth spot Brandon started P4 is still holding down P4 Watch Travis, though. He has moved up two spots since the uh, green flag waved here in the BM main show. He rides back in sixth place. That's exactly what this driver's seeing. To the outside of Tim. Tim's going to take away his line. Heads up racing by the number 64 machine of Tim Alton as, as now Travis works down to the bottom side. He's going to give it right back to him, kind of sliding right up in front of him. So Travis Snyder Jr. the 77 machine outside of looking in only by one spot. Brandon not all the way to the high side. We've seen that in a lot of the a lot of the other mains. Brandon trying to work that middle side of the racetrack, maybe not fast enough. Travis working the outside still. Lap 10 of 12. Laps are winding down, and Travis Snyder has found himself looking into the Mac Daddy show now. Daniel J. Abs is completely running away with, with this thing. A huge gap for him, a big statement by the 36 machine. 
Zach J. Miller back here in P2 running just on a Sunday cruise with a white flag out. Jeff Stewart and Travis are the top four at, as of right now. Maybe Swift swapping P3. Jeff Stewart to the outside. Travis going to look down to the inside. All they got to do is make it to the checkered flag. They both advance. It looks like they will do so. Patrick made it all the way up to the B main from the from the uh, from the D. One spot short and maybe not the happiest with that driver. So that's going to set the field right there. Warm up is underway. I don't think these drivers will take the warm up. They only take it uh, if they have to break in the racetrack a little bit. I don't think they want to break it in anymore. Thank you all for tuning in to Wisco Global underscore TV for the National Auto Racing Club. Thanks to the sponsors up there on the top right. When I say uh, when the sun goes down and, and the speedway lights come, come on, it's completely, completely blackout. Man, the, the energy changes. The energy in these league races completely change. Racing's different. Everything just seems different from practice, from your test sessions to practice, from heat races, from qualifying. Once you get to the A main and the speedway lights are on, the, the the moon is up, the sun is down. It gets crazy. Is they're gonna throw the checker flag out for the warm up? No one takes it. They're gonna leave the track as is. And the feature event, 24 cars, is going to make the call. To the start line, that's it. 30 plus drivers entered in. I think it was probably close to 40. Forgot to check. It was a lot. And Travis Snyder Jr. is the last car that made it in. And here we go. Drivers are in their in their machines waiting for one more driver to jump in the car. We'll be rolling out there on the speedway here at Lernerville. A tough track. Got to stay focused the entire way. Do not hang that right rear tire off the edge. For the Mac Daddy Show for the National Auto Racing Club. School of Sim Racing. Here we go for the great lineup. Corey Austin, the number 92 machine. He'll be on pole with Aiden to his outside. Thomas Brandon, the last season's champion. He'll be back in third place. Trevor will be back in fourth. Tyler Wilson, fifth. And David Flick will be back in the sixth place. That'll round out the third row. Starting out the, in the fourth row is going to be Lane Stevens with Kenny Hoffman back in seventh and eighth place. Ninth place, Jeremiah, the number, number 20 machine, Team SSR. And then Joe from New Jersey, he'll be back in 10th place. Michael Birthday, he'll be back in 11th place. And Justin Sherman running out that uh, 11th and 12th spot. 13th spot is going to be Sam and Jay Price. Jareth Pike, Landon will be 15th. Brandon 16th, Robert, Daniel, Jordan, Bruce, Daniel, Zach, Jay, Jeff, and Travis. Pace truck is off. We're going to do a little bit of shimmy and shiming down into turn number one for 30 laps.
Flick just made the move, maybe a, a huge move of the race, was able to avoid both of those drivers right there in front of him. The yellow flag has gone away for the first time. David Flick with some heads up racing, seeing two cars there in front of him make a little bit of contact. He made that little left-hand turn. Went from like fourth to second in a split second. No, no, Thomas Brandon back into the pits. Justin Sherman is back in the pits as well. Brett Wheeler commented, let's go uh, beat BDM driver Tre Trevor Royal. Yellow flag waves. Don't think this is it. Could be one of them though. Back to live mode, back to race mode. We'll have a single file re restart. Trevor, UD, UD TV sponsorship up there on that front wing. Corey Austin started on pole. He finds himself back in sec uh, second place. Trevor's already moved up three spots here in the Mac Daddy Show. Tyler Wilson with a big heat uh, with a big heat race win. He finds himself up to fourth place as of right now. Early racing. We'll see how everything works out. Here we go back under green a flag racing working lap four of 30 now. Single filed out all the way to P3. Tyler Wilson's going to mess around on the bottom side for a slight bit, see what he can find. And he may just find himself losing one spot. Lane Stevens ripping the lip right, right there in that fifth spot. Johnny, get around. Tyler Wilson, not quite a little loose coming off of turn two as they roar down into turn number three now. Lane still trying to get around Tyler Wilson for that fourth spot so he can set sail for David Flick and Corey Austin. Back here in the middle part of the racetrack, we may be four wide coming out of turn four. Daniel Boyd moved up 10 spots in the Mac Daddy Show. He finds himself in the eighth spot. He must have threw through the monkey wrench at, at, at that setup. As of right now, it, it's working. One driver off the racetrack. That's going to be Jordan trying to get back on safely without smashing anybody. He's going to slowly roll back on and he try to hold on to it. So back up front we go. Trevor's leading this thing with the lap car right there in front of him already. The number 20 machine, the guy that's in 22nd place, that's going to be Jeremiah. Trying to take the race leader's line away, but with the checkered flags going to wave, and he's going to be saved. Lots of three wide racing here tonight. David Flick is showing red up, up, up on the program. We'll see what happened to this guy. Backed it up to the outside wall, made that right rear tire go right over that cushion, and that's uh, that's going to be it. It's tough getting back on this racetrack as, as well. laps to go out of this 30 lap main event week number two race number two for the national auto racing club trevor been throwing down some fast lap times can he hold on to it 
best lap time out there on the speedway as of as of right now it is going to be the number 90 mo machine with a 14.7 Corey Austin right there behind him though with a 14.744 back to limo back to race mode pace track is off the raceway Trevor steps on loud pedal we're back under green flight conditions on board with our p2 rider right now ripping the lift trying to run down trevor trevor has something special in that setup because he is absolutely flying here and i leading the leading the, the race moved up three spots and as well threw down the fastest lap time here in the mac daddy show Corey austin goes off the racetrack and caution's gonna wave really early that might have just saved Corey austin as well if he didn't cause a ca caution, he may get a spot back. But I think he, I don't think he will. So another driver down out of the top five. Turns three and four. It's becoming a big story. Trying to keep it on the, on the racetrack. Couple laps short of halfway home. Fun racetrack, man. I've been running the official races in the big block modifieds here. It's a tough track. Definitely a tough, tough track in, in the big blocks. It's fun though. As a pay track is going to pull off, we'll be back under green flag conditions. Now Lane's going to try to have have his crack at the number 90 machine. That front stretch is getting a very bumpy too. You can watch these front ends of these of these machines. Travis has moved up 19 spots. He has our uh, tar charge as of right now as a caution is going to wave only after one lap of green flag racing. some just completely getting beat around like a ping pong ball check this out from the cockpit mode man that'll make you dizzy and just doesn't it just never stops either Only after one lap of uh, racing back under yellow. We'll be going green to flag racing this time by. The lights on the pace truck is off. Here we go unofficially a hard try actually we'll be right back here with daniel j adams we'll jump right inside the cockpit mode and see exactly what this driver has to see green flag back out
has all sorts of mess there front and one driver just smashed the outside wall Dale down to the bottom side there in P7 contact made and that's going to bring out the yellow flag once again very close racing inches away from each other so we've got a couple of those wrecks now jump right on board and then right when we do got you guys right in right in front of them this side to wreck I think this may be it. Watch the 77 car. He smashed the outside wall. That happened right there behind him. Yeah, you guys can make the call on that one. What a big flip. Lands right back on, on the wheels, though. One more time, why not? From the chopper mode. Check this view out. Throwing in the slow motion to the quarter speed action. Back to light mode, back to race mode we go. Green flag is gonna be waving. Trevor's out in front. He is in charge. He has this thing uh, in his grasp as of as of right now. Rip and the lip around turns three and four and hauling the mail down the front stretch. Trevor's led a lap, uh, lots of laps. He'll flag back out. Yellow flag back out early on. Lernerville, some drivers are having some issues with, with it here tonight. Let's see if we can figure out what the wreck was. Corey Austin is showing red with Native Pride Racing, the number 92 machine. Seen that a couple times All already. One more time out of the cockpit mode. You can see how dusty this track gets, too. To Limo back to race mode. Corias is going to be being scored back in the 20th spot now. Aiden is out of this race. Michael, Robert Boggs is out as well. Joe in the 21st place. I guess he's still in or he's in the pits. Yeah, Joe's still in in the 43 car. He's back in 21st. Last car on the lead lap as of right now. Conch laps obviously do not count, so we'll have a true 30 lap A main event. Conch lights on the pace truck is off. He'll be getting off the dirt track. We'll be going to back under green flag racing here on uh, Lernerville. Trevor has been dominant all the night long. Can he hold on to it with 10 laps to 11 laps to go? Also has laid down the quick time of 14, a point to seven as well. Completely flying. He has that thing right on the outside cushion. How hard do you want to push it though? With 10 laps to go, you know, you definitely know you have the fastest race car out there. He feels confident though. Has that thing all the way to the outside, inches away from uh, jumping the, the cushion. We jump right inside the cockpit. Yellow flag's gonna wave. We're 15 minutes and 26 seconds into this A main feature event. And live. 
lots of cautions here tonight here in the AMA show. Drivers and teams are having some issues here on the slicked up Lernerville racetrack, and that guy maybe just got a little help. Got a little help, got a little sideways, made, almost made a 180. Thomas Brandon, after that very early wreck, he's already up to the 12th spot, trying to uh, trying to save his night a little bit. Same thing with Justin uh, Sh uh, Sherman, right there in front of him. Cautions, maybe help, helping out those drivers. I'd like to see this thing go green, a flag racing from uh, from this point on. Two of 30 down the back, stretching into turn at number three. The number 90 machine going to lead another lap. Travis Snyder. Sure, he's moved up 22 spots there in the 77 machine. Got around Lane Stevens. Now Travis trying to set sail for Trevor. Can he do it though? Six laps to go. Last lap times, we have a new player up here in the mix with that 77 machine of Snyder Jr. Almost uh, matching each other's lap, lap times, a 15.111 and a 15.176 coming across the line. Those numbers will update. Trevor running down a fast lap time with a 15 flat yellow flag out. That might help out Travis there. Now Travis is going to be in P2 on this restart with a handful of laps to go. Obviously, Trevor running that running that outside lane the entire way. Tra uh, Travis Snyder was running that middle side or that bottom side around turns three and four. And one and two as well. Could get, could get interesting, though. A new player up there in, in, on the front. Here we go with the crash. Jack J. Miller showing red up on the screen. The all-white number five machine with SSR on the front wing. And just barely got it off, but slams the outside wall. Collects a couple of drivers in it as well. Stuck on the side. He'll have to grab that toe, and his night will most likely be done. Good run by Jeff Stewart as well. He's up to the seventh spot after moving up 16. Daniel J. Adams has moved up 13 spots as well. Stewart trying to crack the top five, just a couple spots out, outside of it. Maybe a big night for him as well as the, elbow, the elbows, elbows Up Sim Sports team. The lights on the pace truck is off. The high beams are on. He'll be getting off the racetrack. We'll be going green. A flag racing. Can Travis get to the back bumper of the 77 machine? Green flag back out. And here we go. We may have a race on our hand. Trevor ripping the lip. Travis going to work this bottom side of the racetrack. You guys pick your line. Which one do you want to be? Outside or inside? Left 27 of 30. Just crossed the 20 minute mark in the Mac and Daddy show. Trevor's outside lane looks like it is coming back to life. Travis trying to hustle and bustle down there on the bottom side. Travis now move, moves up to the high side, trying to run him back down. Landon P3 as of right now, moved up 12 spots in the Mac and Daddy show. Landon trying to get to the outside of Travis Snyder Jr. Lap 28 of 30 down the back stretch and into turn at number three. We have a battle for P2. Lane Stevens holding down P4. Tyler Will or Tyler Wilson there in the 42 machine. 
pulling down that last or that top five spot and we have one driver off the racetrack that's going to be landed. <laughs> Why the flag out for the number 90 machine. A very strong performance here for Trevor last time in turns of three and four he's going to come home with a checker flag. Travis second place Tyler Wilson sneaking, sneaks away with P3 landing fourth and then Justin Sherman is going to round out that fifth spot as a checkered flag finally waves after 21 minutes and 20 seconds here at Lernerville. Try to talk to the top three, uh, the top three finishers. See how their nights went as they get ready for their uh, classic eye racing photo shoot. Trevor up there in that victory lane, that famous uh, Lernerville victory lane shot. There it is. Travis and Tyler Wilson rounding out of that P2 and P3. A lot, of, a lot of hard racing tonight. A lot of close side-by-side -side racing. A, definitely a two-groove racetrack. I think everyone felt a lot comfortable on that bottom side instead of that, uh, instead of that high side. But we'll see. We'll talk to the top three finishers whenever they jump into this Discord page. And here's the final results up there on your race screen real quick. I'm going to talk to the second place finisher of Travis Snyder. And uh, Travis, man, kind of a roller coaster night, man. But you know, uh, overall, man, uh, you was able to make it here in the A main show and was able to move up 22 spots to finish there in that P2 spot. Yeah, I just, I suck at qualifying. And, you know, if you suck at qualifying with a bunch of group cars, you're not going to, it's going to be, you know, I have to go through the ABC soup. And that's what happened. I usually always come from the rear of the feature and always finish up front. I don't know. That's just how I am. Man, you was working at uh, kind of the middle part, that bottom side of the racetrack there, the closing the closing laps. Uh, did your car just work better down there, or did you like the high side better? To be honest with you, I'm too scared to run the high side, especially one and two. And there was... The line in the middle, one and two, it was there the whole night until like the last 10 laps. And if it didn't go away so soon, I think I would have had a chance, but that's how dirt racing goes. Absolutely, man. Well, hey, congratulations. It's P2 for race number two as well, man. And moving up 22 spots. So that's a lot of, a lot of twos, man. You got any uh, friends, family sponsors that uh, you, you like to thank? I uh, just like my, my mom and my dad for <laughs> paying for the iRacing service. And, um, Yeah. Very cool, man. Well, hopefully we'll get to talk to you uh, ne next week. Yep, thank you. Much appreciated. Travers running up uh, all the way up to P2, but Tyler Wilson's going to finish here in the third spot, and uh, Tyler, man, kind of a great night for you. Uh, you, won your heat, you won your heat race here in the A-Main show. You slipped back a little bit, but then at the very end, you was able to move up uh, two spots and finish on that last podium. Yeah, I caught some luck there at the end. Uh, looks like Landon maybe slid off the uh, top coming out of two with about two to go. And I don't remember who it was right in front of me there on the last lap, but they got a little loose coming out of two. Gave me just enough room to kind of squeak by and end up on that podium. Uh, that top end really scares me here, falling off. So I kind of hung out in the middle all race, knowing that early on, you know, there were some guys that could really rip the rip the top side and probably get get by me, but. A couple of them fell off. A couple of them kind of fell off as it got more slick. I just kind of fell off speed-wise. So I was able to just kind of hang around up front and have some luck go my way. How was the track from lap one all the way to lap 30, and how much uh, did it change? It was already pretty slick starting out. It didn't change a ton. I mean, I'm guessing those guys running up up top there, uh, you know, probably noticed that cushion go away just a little bit more. But where I was hanging out there in the middle, I maybe had a little bit of grip uh, go away you know, coming out of two there. But other than that, you know, it didn't change a whole lot uh, kind of where I was running. It was just 
slick the whole way. Well, man, congratulations on this uh, second place. I think you're starting off uh, this season off quite quite strong, man. So congratulations on this uh, third third place finish. Uh, you have any friends, family, sponsors that you'd like to thank? Uh, yeah, first off, I want to thank SSR for putting this on. Uh, you for doing the broadcast. It's always fun every week. Uh, my team, Wide Open Motorsports. Uh, I mean, we've really been starting to click off some nice laps. I think Patrick had a good run last night. Uh, in the uh, 4,500 and under league that they run on Tuesdays, uh, BB7 setups. Uh, that's what I ran here tonight. And I mean, those are for not being kind of the, you know, well-known companies like the, the, the Bergeron sets and stuff. They are, they are top notch. Uh, feel free to check those guys out. Those are great setups. Uh, and that's, that's really it. Tyler Wilson, congrats, man, on this P3. And uh, we'll talk to you next week. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks, man. The guy with a checkered flag in hand, though, is going to be Trevor, the number 90 machine. And Trevor, man, you had that right rear as uh, as 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 high up as you possibly can. Yeah, oh, man, this this place sketches me out. I'm always uh, afraid to go over. I'm sure it happened a few times to people tonight. I'm, if I can get through 30 lap feature without going over the edge, no matter where I finish, I feel like that's an accomplishment. But, uh, yeah, I was just able to uh, get out front early and uh, stay smooth around the top and try not to make any mistakes and uh, was able to get the checker flag here. There was one time you had about a two-second lead. Did you ever think about kind of going going down to the bottom side just to kind of kind of stay safe, or you just or did you just like the momentum up, up there? Uh, the momentum on the top of this place, especially in uh, turns three and four, is – is key. Uh, I really like I, under caution. I was looking down there. I just didn't feel like it would be quick enough to uh, stay ahead of everybody behind me. So I just stuck to the top and just uh, hoped I wouldn't go over the edge. From your heat races to the A main show, man, did you make any big, uh, big time setup changes? Um, I moved the wing around a little bit, but uh, other than that, I left everything the same and uh, just. Try to stay smooth, keep the car under me, and uh, just keep the momentum up all race. Well, man, a very strong performance here here at Lernerville for uh, race number two for the National Ra Racing Club. So congratulations on the uh, checkered flag. Trevor, you got any uh, friends, family, sponsors, teammates that you'd like to give a shout-out to? Yeah, uh, I'd like to thank my uh, my team, Black Diamond Motorsports. Um, they're always a great help. Well, we all make each other better. Uh, uh, Brett Wheeler, Ultimate Dirt TV, uh, Drew Neal, 1-9 Designs, Tim's Dirt Track Simulators, um, NARC for putting this league on, and uh, Whiskey Oval TV for broadcasting. Yeah, uh, I've I watched a few of your broadcasts. You always do great work, and uh, I'm a, uh, I am can't wait to go back and watch this one. Very cool, man. Well, congratulations on this uh, checkered flag, and hopefully talk to you next week, dude. Yeah, thank you. Trevor. With a dominating performance, man, it captures the uh, checkered flag for race number two, the National Auto Racing Club. A lot of hard time racing five heat races. We had a D main, a C main, a B main, and then overall, man, only one winner. That's all it is. You can't have two number ones. I think that's what Ricky Bobby says. I don't, you can't, you can't have two number ones. Anyways, Trevor, he's going to be that number one as of right now. Travis second, Tyler Wilson third, Landon. Going to finish in that fourth spot and rounding out the top five is Justin Sherman. Here's a final feature results up there on your screen all the way down to the 18th spot. Thank you all for tuning in here at Whiskey Oval underscore at TV for another week. We'll be back live with the National Auto Racing Club next Wednesday at 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Central. You can check out all this action here on my Facebook page and or over at the Whiskey Oval TV uh, YouTube page. Next broadcast will be Sunday, Sunday night with a Dirt King Racing League. Then we'll be back Monday with some asphalt cup racing. Trying to mix in a little bit of asphalt stuff here and there. Absolutely love it. Sometimes, sometimes I like to mix it in. But congratulations to everyone here that raced tonight. Some very good racing, some very fun racing as well. Until then, everybody, please take care. Stay safe. Enjoy some iRacing.com. And don't be a mean a person. That's the message for 2021. Don't be a mean person in life or on iRacing.com. Try to be nice because mean people suck. But until next time, until next Wednesday night, congratulations to Trevor for that checkered flag. We'll see you guys back here with the National Auto Racing Club. 
Wednesday at 9 o'clock Eastern.